Hello and welcome to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host, Doug Bartosh. I'm also the city manager here in Cottonwood. And today we're here with Andrea Harless, who is uh, an employee for the city, is the uh, kind of the manager of the the uh, business assistance center in Old Town, but is also the secretary for the uh, Old Town Association uh, board. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing that? You've been doing that for a while now, haven't you? All right, about at least three and a half years I've been on the board for OTA serving as secretary. Okay, and you got a pretty good board. Yeah. Um, very active, uh, really moving things along down there. Oh yeah, we have we have a great board. Yeah. And you know we're a little late getting to it, but uh, December's always a big time mm -hmm. for the Old Town Association and Old Town in particular. Is um, obviously we have the uh, parade on Saturday that the chamber puts on that kind of ends in Old Town. Mm -hmm. But uh, Old Old Town uh, actually has some uh, events centered in Old Town. And mm -hmm. talk a little bit about those. Well, this evening we have the fourth annual VIP wine and chocolate pairing event, which precedes Chocolate Walk, which is tomorrow. Um, so tonight we've got eight participants, six wine tasting rooms, and um, we've got a distillery and a saloon participating in that. And tomorrow, the big event, the 22nd annual Chocolate Walk to be held in Old Town. It begins at 3, runs until 8 p.m., and um, we've got a few tickets left, so. You know, and that's usually the one where I know every year people have sh shown up from Phoenix or mm -hmm. somewhere from out of town. Absolutely. Looking to buy tickets, and then they find out that they've all been sold out. And mm -hmm. there's 400 that are sold for the chocolate walk. That's correct. And uh, I think at this point we may have about 50 left. So uh, it's, uh, if you want to go, you better get your tickets quick. We may have some tickets still available at the door the day of, but As you're it's taking questionable. a chance. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, and then I think people probably always wonder, how come it's limited to 400 tickets? Well, that's a good question. Well, um, the people doing the most work for this event really would be the merchants themselves. They have to make the chocolates. They have to make 400 chocolates for this event. So it's very time consuming for them and we really appreciate all of their hard work. Yeah, and um, if you haven't participated in Chocolate Walk, we have how many merchants participating this year? This year it's about 35. So you're talking about 35 individual pieces mm -hmm. of homemade chocolate. Yes. And and so if you go through, you usually get about enough chocolate to last you the year. Right. It seems like so. Yeah. It's really a good, it's a good bargain. And how much are the tickets? The tickets are twenty five dollars. Okay. And um, they can purchase them online as well. They can. They can go to chocolatewalk.com and purchase the tickets. Um, they can also visit the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. They have tickets available there or they can always contact me at my office too. Okay, Yeah. do you have a phone number? I do, it's 928-340-2740. Okay, and then um, again, we kind of jumped ahead to the chocolate walk, but uh, mm -hmm. VIP chocolate walk, walk mm -hmm. is tonight, it is. Friday night, and there's 100 tickets for that. And Close uh, to it. Okay, mm -hmm. and yes. that's sold out. It is, I think, I believe we just sold the last two tickets. So, okay. um, you know, you can always show up and hope that, yeah. you know, maybe there might be a couple left, but it's doubtful, I think, at this point. But uh, the event begins at Burning Tree Cellars this evening at 4 p.m. and goes until 8 p.m. And I, I assume you can... Um you could always just go down and, and taste wine. Absolutely. Too. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Some of the merchants are going to stay open a little later than normal, and there's going to be more people down there. It's going to be a great time. And then I know, uh, uh, I think just about all the tasting rooms have live music usually mm -hmm. on Friday. Um, Most of them. Friday and Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's another great opportunity to go down there and experience that. And then just Old Town is beautiful and we have mm -hmm. our um, Christmas light display yes. uh, program on and lots of great music and lots of great lighting. Mm -hmm. So definitely uh, well worth it to come down and participate. Now mm -hmm. we'll back up a little bit too and I'll ask you about uh, walking on Main. 
which is another signature event for Old Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know you were down there. I saw you down there tasting <laughs> some wine. Um, so how did that come out? Uh, really good. Uh, there were a lot of people down there. Um, I spoke with many of the merchants who said that they did really well that day. Um, there were a lot of people down there and it was a great turnout. The historic home tour was also taking place that same day, which I also participated in. That was great. It's getting bigger and better every year. Yeah, that's. it, it was a lot of fun and it, the weather was perfect that day. It was, it was really nice. So made it especially nice and mm -hmm. great music. And I think the car show had um, more cars than mm -hmm. we've ever seen before. It was yeah. really great. So yeah. a lot of fun. It was, yeah. So is there, is there much planned? Um, we were kind of talking about it mm -hmm. uh, from December through the spring, there's probably not too much planned in Old Town during that period of time. That's our resting period, recuperate <laughs> from chocolate walk. We would like to plan a spring event. That's something that's always in the works. We are always looking to do some new events for Old Town. And I know the city always does um, the uh, Mickelson Marathon, Half Marathon 10K, mm -hmm. and that always brings people to town. And, right. And I know mm -hmm. that you know, benefits uh, all our businesses in the city. Um, but also we've got uh, Tilted Earth, which right. we're looking at again for June, which I know will bring a yeah. lot of people down Great there. event. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, for people who don't um, maybe go down and explore Old Town, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the experience. What 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 is down there? What what is there to do and see? And It's a really wonderful place. Historic Old Town has so many different shops, a variety of unique shops and restaurants, all kinds of different food down there from Mexican to Greek to, you know, uh, just there's so many different places and so many different types of boutiques and um, the antique stores and just a variety of different things. I mean, there's something for everyone in Old Town. Even a, a pet shop. Yeah. Absolutely, and hotels, <laughs> wonderful hotels, and yeah, it's a really nice. And area. and certainly wine wine tasting mm -hmm. has has uh, attracted a lot of people. Absolutely. Uh, into that area. We have and, six in Old Town now. And that's that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So because we started out with uh, one. Uh, right. which was Arizona Stronghold, and then mm -hmm. kind of built from there, it seems like. Right, So, yeah. But anyway, um, so um, who's on the board? Let's talk about who's on the board of the Old, Old Town Association now. We have Larry Cohen. He's our president, owner of Larry's Antiques in Old Town. We have Hezekiah Allen, who works for the Parks and Rec Department for the city. He's the vice president. I am the secretary. And Casey Rooney, who's the Director of Economic Development, he is serving as our treasurer. And then we have Kelsey Melvin with Local First Arizona as a board member. We have Michelle Dubay with Arizona's Hometown Radio Group, who's a board member. Nicole Jurison, who helps with the marketing. Her family owns numerous restaurants and a hotel in Old Town. And we do have one spot available currently. And so we're always looking for someone, you know, to when we have a space come available, somebody that has an interest in Old Town that would like to help us. So, so if uh, any of any of the people who actually have businesses in Old Town, sure, or you know, just someone who really loves Old Town and would really like to come on board and just help us promote Old Town and help out with events, that would and, be great. And again, um, uh, phone numbers on the screen. If you have an interest, uh, call and. Mm -hmm and yeah, get absolutely. involved, it really is a great group down there and they're doing Fun. some fantastic things. Let's go ahead and take our first break and then we'll come back and uh, learn a little bit more about uh, Old Town and the Old Town Association.
taking care of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host, Doug Bartosh. And today we're here with uh, Andrea Harless from the Business Assistance Center here in Cottonwood. But she's also talking about the Old Town uh, Association and Historic Old Town. Mm -hmm. And um, I, before the break, I'd quizzed uh, Andrea on the board, and, and uh, she remembered she forgot somebody, so Thank let's you. make sure we include that person in as well. We also have serving on our board Nancy Gottschalk. She is uh, owner of the Old Town Frame Company down in Old Town as well. Okay. Anybody else we forgot? We don't want to forget anybody because they are very important <laughs> to get upset with me. <laughs> the city and, and the success of Old Town. Absolutely. So, um, so anyway, um, how does how does the Old Town Association um, kind of finance what they do down there and the money they do get? What do they do with it? Well, we receive a lot of support from the city of Cottonwood. And then, of course, um, we have the Chocolate Walk, which is our main event, and that's really where the majority of our funds come from. We do receive some money from membership dues. Um, members in Old Town, they pay $60 annually, which is really great, reasonable price. It's about $5 a month, and they receive all kinds of exposure on the website and all the marketing that we do. and. Um, dues for those outside of Old Town, anyone that wants to support the Old Town Association can be a friend of the OTA and also receive exposure on our website and in our marketing, and uh, that is $90 a year. And so really, that's that's about it. We, we partner a lot with the Chamber of Commerce, Cottonwood Economic Development Council is a huge supporter of OTA as well. So, so and you guys do coordinate with the Chamber then on we do. With the marketing, there's the AOT grant, the matching funds grant. So we all partner together and put the funds in there and, you know, we they match us on what we put in. So we receive a lot of marketing that way. So there's, um, and the a AOT is the Arizona Office, Office of, of Tourism. Tourism. And um, um, so they match every marketing dollar that essentially the OTA, mm -hmm. the Old Town Association puts in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you get a little confused there between AOT and OTA. OTA yes. but, Sorry, I should have clarified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, so uh, I know also what's been a big help is the Verde Valley Wine, wine Trail, because uh, I think you guys advertise on that quite a bit, or at least some of your merchants do. Yeah, a little and, bit there. and. Um, there's different uh, publications, um, Local First Arizona, they put out the Small Wonders maps and a lot of the merchants can advertise through that and um, we do some advertising down in Phoenix and um, there's so many different publications and uh, Lana at the Chamber of Commerce is really good about getting us into the best publications to advertise Old Town. You know, and, and that's a, probably a real Im important thing is uh, I, I know the city and our business assistance center has has worked very closely with uh, Local First Arizona and, um, you know, this time of the year people are out spending, you know, gobs of money on Christmas gifts mm -hmm. and those kind of things and, and it probably is a great time to remind our local residents and our Verde Valley residents that mm -hmm. uh, we've really got some unique local shops, not just in Old Town, but throughout the city that offer some absolutely. really great gift opportunities. And yeah, Absolutely. So. We just had Small Business Saturday uh, at the end of November after Thanksgiving to try to offset the Black Friday event and uh, try to support the merchants in Old Town. So we had a pretty good turnout for the first time that we were trying to promote that as an event in Old Town, so we had a pretty good turnout. 
Okay. We also did a fundraising for the Old Town Mission, a canned food drive during that event. That's great. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, as you go out to do shopping, think about uh, shopping local. Um, it, it keeps your money, it keeps your sales tax here in Cottonwood, which um, serves everybody. So um, definitely worth, worth the, the investment. Absolutely. Um, I know one of the other things that we, we just had a meeting on the other night was, was Thunder Valley Rally. Mm -hmm. And I know there's probably some disagreement uh, among the merchants about whether that's a, a good event, you know, for Old Town or not. And, um, but uh, the Old Town Association does make uh, a lot of money off of that as well. We do. We received about $12,500 from this last Thunder Valley Rally event. That was 25% of the liquor sales because we provide the liquor license for the event. And then we in turn use that money again to market and advertise for Old Town. So through that event, we're able to get more funding so that we can advertise, promote tourism. And so that 12,000 ended up being close to 25,000 once you partner with, with the uh, Office of Tourism. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great investment. Yes, it is. So, you know, and obviously it seems like uh, our other big market is we love locals to shop everywhere in town, but it seems like the other big market is probably the Phoenix area. And um, you talked a little bit about, um, you know, magazines, marketing. Is that an area that the Old Town Association focuses on in terms of marketing? and? We do. We, we see a lot of people from down south in the Phoenix area and around there come up and shop up here in Old Town. It's, it's a great um, way to do a day trip. You know, it's, it's an hour and a half drive and we see a lot of people from Phoenix come up here. Um, there's a lot of people from Phoenix that are coming up for the chocolate walk, in fact. So, yeah, we, we managed to reach that area down there and advertise and it does well. And it does seem like uh, my experience has been a lot of people come up not only just for the day, but many more come up and mm -hmm. stay the night. Absolutely. You know, yeah. which is probably a good thing, particularly if you're out tasting wine, it's mm -hmm. good not to drive. Stay here. That's right. You know, so um, it's, I think the other thing I've seen about Old Town that seems to attract a lot of people is the antiques. And mm -hmm. we, we have probably at least three or four antique stores. And I'd say closer to about five. Because I know we have five or six. Larry's. Um, yeah, we've got Larry's. Uh, a checkered past checkered. antiques, green shed antiques, uh, cat's meow. So yeah, there's about at least five or six down there. Yeah, so if you're a antiques enthusiast, that's definitely the the place yes, to go. It's absolutely, a great, great place, and I, and Old Town I think actually has a reputation in the state for that mm -hmm. uh, as a great place to come shop for antiques. So um, take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and take our next break and uh, come back and join us. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Business Assistance Center, which is also in Old Town, but it's available to any business in the Verde Valley. So come back and join us. Let me ask you a question. When you think of the American Legion, what comes to mind? Is it our assistance programs that help the spouses and children of our fallen soldiers keep food on the table? I'm working to help the families of our fallen soldiers know that they are supported and taken care of. I am the American Legion. For nearly 100 years, the American Legion has been our nation's leading advocate for veterans and their families. I am the American Legion. This is today's American Legion. To learn more, visit legion.org. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me.
Welcome back to Inside Cottonwood. I'm your host, Doug Bartosh. And today we're here with uh, Andrea Harless, uh, who is uh, with our Business Assistance Center, but is also the uh, Secretary of the Board for the Old Town Association. And we talked about the Old Town Association and, and Old Town and some of the events that are going on down there. So if you get a chance, uh, particularly this, this weekend, um, but any weekend, go down and experience it's it's a great experience but one of the other kind of i guess amenities opportunities we have in old town is the business assistance center right. and um, can you give us a little history on how that came about sure well the BAC Business Assistance Center was originally founded by NACOG, Northern Arizona Council of Governments. They had a business assistance center over in Prescott, and Casey Rooney, the director of economic development, thought that would be a great addition to this community because we are very small business friendly. So he thought it would be a great idea to be able to provide those resources to entrepreneurs and small businesses that need some help. So they opened up a business assistance center in Cottonwood, November twelfth, November tenth, two thousand and ten, and it's located at eight twenty one North Main Street in Old Town, Cottonwood. And we provide a variety of free services. We provide free business counseling for anybody who is wanting to start up a business or has one and just needs some advice or some resources provided to them. And we offer workshops that are business-based, a wide variety. We cover everything from business finance to marketing. Uh, we do sometimes some grant writing, uh, social media, uh, advertising, um, writing a business plan. And then, of course, we have the resources at our facility. We have um, equipment there if anyone needs to come in and use computers to get some work done. We have faxing, printing, copying. We also have meeting space available, so any organization or business that needs to hold a meeting, give a presentation, do interviewing, whatever you might need some space for, it's free of charge, and you can contact me and I'll reserve the space for you. We also offer office space that's available for rent at a very reasonable rate. And um, we try to keep that short term, though, six months to a year to be able to provide that opportunity to other small businesses that need some assistance. Because I, I, I think there's people that would love to stay there for much longer. Absolutely. Um, but, they love it. But the idea is to give them a, a kind of a, a start. Right. Um, a place to get going uh, with a reasonable rent, and then hopefully mm -hmm. they move out. And we've had some great successes. Um, can you... Are there companies or organizations that come to mind that have come in, used the Business Assistance Center, and moved out? Um, sure. One of the first ones that we had was uh, Friends of the Verde River Greenway, and they work along with Verde Valley Land Preservation and Verde Watershed Restoration Coalition. And they started out with one office, and then they there was maybe only one or two people at first, and then they started to grow, so they rented out a second office, and by the time that they grew to the point where we weren't able to accommodate them anymore, I believe there was over 25 people. Wow. And so they were able to transition <clears throat> into another space in Old Town Cottonwood, so they're still nearby, and they still come over and use our space that we have available at the BAC for meetings and trainings. And uh, we also just recently had the Vetriplex um, move out of their office. They were there for some time and did really well and uh, were able to hire on a lot of veterans and they just needed to expand as well. They needed a bigger space and so that was really successful as well. And I actually am, am, am a frequent user of their, their services, um, construction services and um, I know they moved out into a rental space and just <laughs> recently they purchased their own space. And uh, so they continually expand and, and they really do great work too. So if you need uh, work done Thank around you. the house, uh, hire a vet um, is a great place to go. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's been a couple of others too, but it's uh, do we have any space available at the BAC for rent right now? 
We will have maybe one or two offices coming available within maybe the next month or two. We've got some that are getting ready. They're getting close to the point where they're going to be moving along. Um, so there's, there's a possibility we may have some come available soon. You know, and the other thing is, I know you mentioned NACOG, but we had we have some other partners that have participated in absolutely. Uh, um, and and who are those? Yavapai College has been a great partner. Of the SBDC Small Business Development Center at Yavapai College. They are the ones that uh, provide the business counseling, and they also provide the instructors for the business-based workshops as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because I was curious. Uh, about that, that um, who is it that comes in and does the uh, the counseling in terms mm -hmm. of how to make your business more successful and those kind of things. So, so that's the resources essentially the experts at Yavapai College. That, right. Okay, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, I I know we also um, coordinate very closely with the Arizona Commerce Authority, and. Um, I think they're very impressed with what we've done with the BAC mm -hmm. and continually provide us with information about companies that are looking at coming to Cottonwood and those kind of things. It's, and I don't know if we've had any of those, well, I think we have had some of those work out um, in terms of new manufacturing coming into the city. We've um, had a few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which again, creates jobs, um, hopefully right. high paying jobs and uh, you know which helps helps our community right absolutely so who can use the business assistance center well pretty much anyone who has a small business or is an entrepreneur looking to start a business uh, any organization even a nonprofit organization we have several of those that take advantage of the meeting space that we have available um, so pretty much anybody that is, you know, is, if it's business related, come on in and see what we have to offer. Is it, is it confined to uh, Cottonwood? Absolutely not. We will help anyone in the Yavapai County area. I've actually even had clients as far away as Flagstaff come and use our facility. So we welcome anyone. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I know you keep uh, statistics on how many people you know, come in and use the facility. Do you, do you have kind of a, an idea that you can share with us about how many people use the business assistance center a month? I would say it's usually between 150 to 200 on a good month of individual businesses or organizations that come in to take advantage of our resources there. And again, I think that the key word, other than renting space, mm -hmm. everything else is, is free. Absolutely, yeah, and aside from the workshops, there is a minimal fee for the workshops. Workshops, okay, because mm -hmm. I assume we, do we pay somebody to come in and, and provide that training or? We do, the instructors of course need to be compensated for their time to instruct the workshops, so. Okay, and again, real quickly, run through the workshops you've you provided? We've provided uh, things such as business finance, business plan writing, how to start a business, grant writing, marketing, social media, website design. Um, gosh, there's just so many. We, we try to change it up and do something new each month so that we're always offering something valuable. And generally, what, what would a class like that cost somebody? Uh, they can vary from uh, $15, $25, depending on the class. We have a website design three-part series that we offer, and I believe that is, I want to say it's about $90. So okay. it's about $30 per class. But then by the end of the series, you have your own website up and running that you're able to maintain yourself, that you don't need to pay someone on the outside to do for you. Yeah, and certainly if you have to pay somebody to do that work for you, it's pretty pricey. Right. So depending on how sophisticated the website is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it really is a great service and, again, a, an example of the city's interest in supporting business 
and making sure that we can grow businesses, new businesses. And I think the other one we talked about that we haven't talked about is um, home businesses. People mm -hmm. uh, do business out of home, but sometimes right. they need to have a meeting or they ha need to use some equipment that maybe they don't have at home. And we have a lot of those. Uh, business mm -hmm. assistance center is available for that. Sure. Well, we're out of time. And so I want to thank Andrea for uh, joining us today. And again, if you're uh, looking at starting a business, you have a business that uh, you need a little, little advice on, uh, contact Andrea at the uh, Business Assistance Center and give us that number again. It's 928-340-2740. And I think you saw it on the screen a couple times there too, but um, give, her, give Andrea a call and, and trust me, it's uh, well worth the effort to, uh, to make uh, the Business Assistance Center part of your business plan. Thanks for joining us on Inside Cottonwood and we look forward to seeing you next time.